All right, you guys, good morning. I'm so excited for our leadership series. And we're going to go through this and kind of talk and I think learn some new things. Some stuff is going to be things that some of you guys already know, um, but we're going to be able to have these new ideas and new concepts and put them into action to really help grow our businesses, grow ourselves, grow ourselves as moms. You know, this leadership series is about creating you a leader as a whole. I find that sometimes we think it's just launching people. It's just about getting them going in the business. But really, at the end of the day, the hard part is what's between our ears, what we think about what we're doing and completing us as a whole person, becoming um, a lot of us are moms, a lot of us are wives, um, you know, and creating a whole person. Because when we can dig into all of that, we can become more unstoppable within any aspect that we want in our life. So this was the perfect first topic to do and just rewiring the brain and the neuroscience behind it all. Um, if you find yourself stopping and starting all of the time, then this is going to be the perfect Zoom for you because this is about getting over that, how to keep pushing through, how to not start and stop, how to do little why are we doing little bits and what are we, you know, how can we change that? So we got our conscious mind, right? Versus our subconscious mind. So our conscious mind sets us up logically, right? It, we know we want to start something new. Our conscious mind says, let's start something new. Let's take on a new business. This is going to be really cool, right? But your subconscious mind hasn't been programmed yet to do this new thing. So it will actually stop you based on what you programmed it to do. And it's based on the past and what you want um, and not what you want right now. Okay. So our subconscious mind is based on all the experiences that we have been through and not what we want right now. It's all those things. Our conscious mind can tell us what we want right now and what we, you know, want to go for. But that subconscious mind keeps us in the past. And all the past trainings on our brain can stop it. So these two worlds don't coexist yet, right? If you said, I want to start a new business, your conscious mind says that your subconscious mind doesn't comprehend that at all. So they just don't coexist. So then we want to know how do we connect these? How can we connect that past to our present thought and what we want to do? Well, there are some really easy steps that we can actually physically do to do this, and this is what's going to be key and what's really important um, on connecting these. So how do we connect these? We're going to, oops, sorry, I got ahead of myself there. <clears throat> We're going to take six long, deep breaths, okay? We're going to take six long, deep breaths. You're going to go in through your nose, and when you exhale out through your mouth, you're going to act like you're pushing it out through a straw. <sighs> You're going to actually physically force it out. You're going to blow it out like a straw and you're going to do that six times. What happens is this actually relaxes your central nervous system and it gets your brain calm because your brain is going to be in an automatic anxiety mode, your subconscious brain in an automatic anxiety mode because it's thinking of something new. And even though it could be exciting, it gets scary, it gets nerve wracking. You start thinking, can I do this? I've never done this before. I've always started and stopped. Say you're starting a new diet. I've always quit on myself. I've never completed it. I've never done well. So I am not going to this time, right? That's what your subconscious is doing. Even though your conscious brain is going, I want this. It's exciting. I want to earn more money. I want to have fun things. I want to lose weight. I want to do all of this. So Six times specifically gets that brain relaxed. It gets the subconscious brain working to realizing new can happen. And this can be different than before. And it doesn't have to be the same. So it's going to calm you down so that you can truly start thinking again. So every time you feel a little bit of anxiety, you want to do this whole six times of okay, six times we'll do that. So then we want to talk about the next steps within that. All right. The next steps are going to be these three things right here. And this is really important. Awareness is going to be key because you have to realize why is your subconscious brain going back to that spot and doing that when my here and now says I can do this. Right. Do you ever catch yourself saying I can do this? But then like later on, you're like, I can't do this. 
<laughs> right? That's the, that's the battle between the two right there. So awareness is going to be really key. You're not going to shame yourself. You're not going to, you know, put yourself down. You're not going to knock yourself down or, or say things that just, you know, are horrible to yourself. You're just going to become aware. Maybe I'm stressed. I'm overwhelmed. It's, it's scary to do this. I've never done it in the past. I'm nervous. Sometimes I quit. I don't want to quit, right? Be aware of what those feelings are and just sit with them for a minute. Don't worry about like living in this spot. <laughs> just sit with it for a minute. And then go to your intention. Your intention is to feel happy, become wealthy, to lose weight, to, you know, do whatever it is that you, you want out of your goal. So you, your intention is to feel happy, become wealthy. So then what's a small action step that you could take toward that? Obviously, we're going to gear this toward business, right? So my intention is to become wealthy, do all the things I want for my family, have an abundance of money, um, you know, through your business. So what are some small action steps you could create you could do you could create like a little game plan for yourself you could you know approach five people it's all of the different steps that we have within our business little action steps our accountability sheets right it would be just taking small action steps because a lot of times when I feel really stuck in business in life in uh, this is never going to happen for me the only thing that actually gets me out of that is the action steps so throwing in that breathing now, having that awareness, the intention and creating that action step toward it is going to really help you out. It's going to reset that brain. It's going to allow you to do it. And when you take action steps, you prove to yourself that you feel valuable enough to do it and that you are worthy and that you can do it and you will rewire your brain. And the good thing about this is that you have unlimited amount of times to do this. You could do this 15 times a day if you needed to, right? You could do this throughout the day. It could be 30 times a day until you get that rewiring in. This isn't like a, okay, I did my sixth breath. I know my awareness. I have an intention. I'm going to, I'm going to make a social media post and this is done, right? This is going to be something that keeps coming back. It's going to be reoccurring. It's going to be over and over maybe but it's gonna get easier and easier. And you're gonna be able to attack it a lot quicker and you're gonna be able to go into that next phase, no problem. But the biggest key factor is taking a small action step. If you are still struggling to take that small action step, then you've gotta go back to awareness, your deep breaths and keep going until you get yourself to do that small action step. Because I can foresee it in some people, we have the awareness, we have the attention, but then all of a sudden that small action step stops us in our place. So why did that action set step stop us? We've got to go back to awareness. Okay. I'm scared of what people are going to think about me on social media. If I make a post, I've made a post before and I've quit that before. What are people going to think of me? So I want you to just remember that whenever you get to that action step, if you get a block, go back to awareness, go back to six deep breaths, go back to your intention, and then try it again. If it still hits, you guys, that's the point you got to reach out. We've got to go through it together. We've got to get through that block together. And that's the beauty of having a group with you in it as well. So I do believe everybody could individually do these. But if it gets to that point, they're like, I just have that block still, then reach out. We can work through that one together. Now, here's where I feel like intuition comes into play with all this. So when you are going through that, you kind of know sometimes why you're feeling that, right? Your intuition kind of knows, and that will help us work through it. But let's start talking about intuition because this is my next favorite part about this training is that we are all very intuitive women. And if there has an ever been something you've wanted in your life, it's because your future self already has it, right? Sometimes I kind of think about like, you know, when I was younger and I pictured my kids on a lake dock jumping off of it. And that was just something I wanted them to have as an experience in their childhood. It was always so, in, it's so interesting now that I've had that. And I viewed it when I was younger because it was already something my future self had. So if you can visualize it, it is something that your future self has already. And that's a beautiful thing. So if you can picture yourself having something and it gets you excited and you're feeling really good about it, it's because your future self 
already has that. And when you feel good about desires, it's telling you that it's already done. If you feel really good about something you want in the future, it's because it's already done. All you need to do is take some action steps, stay aligned and keep going, keep taking those action steps. Keep um, knowing that your future self is always communicating with you and that you can have all of those desires because they're already there. So let's just talk about that a little bit. Well, you just said, Kirsten, keep taking action. Like, what do you mean? Everything you want is your future self is already has it. Well, what's the action that we've got to take then? How do we know what action to take? Because now it can get confusing, right? You oftentimes you go all of a sudden get to a fork in the road, right? Like you get to this place where you're like, but wait a minute. I now there's a roadblock. So how do I know what action to take to get there? And that it's in alignment with my biggest and most, um, you know, grandest goal that I have, the biggest thing that I want. So let's say I was a teenager dreaming about the lake and the and the docks and my kids jumping off of it, right? Every single action I've taken in my life has led me to that. So just because I wanted kids jumping off a dock into the lake, and I was maybe 14 year old, 14, 15, 16 years old, imagining that that wasn't going to happen until I was 35. So remember, all of the actions have led up to that. And it can take a while. It doesn't mean because you visualized it, it's happening next month. It doesn't mean it's happening next year, right? Now, this is where you've got to surrender, release, and just know it's in alignment and it will happen when it's meant to happen, but it has. So what action do we take, right? Basically what you're going to do, because we are so intuitive and we are very powerful women, we're going to go off our intuition. We're going to go off our intuition and we're going to base everything off of feeling that we do, no matter what. Your future self is constantly in communication with you. We know this because we feel it in our gut. We feel that constant communication. Appreciate it, recognize it, and tune in. You're going to tune in the best while you're present, while you're in the moment. This is why laying down, meditating. Um, I like to do it at nighttime before falling asleep. I like to lay there and really think of things. And I've done this for as long as I can remember. And it's one of those things that's like, I should actually share this with people. Because I have done this for so long in my life that I don't even realize I do it anymore. And so laying there is my time in bed at night. And I almost think about things until they feel really good. And that's when I fall asleep, right? When I'm stressed, I'm anxious, you know, you get unexpected bills and payments and all these things and money and finances. And you're going to bed like with anxiety, I will lay and think of all the things that are going to be coming my way until it feels really good. And I fall asleep. So when something comes up, it could be even something little. This is your alignment. This is like dinner out, going to a concert, going to a group gathering, going to a social function. You have to say, does it feel good? Do I get excited about going? Because even though you wouldn't connect an event to your biggest, most unreal goal you have in your future, it very well could be a part of the path. And so you have to understand that, okay, I want, I get excited about going to this event tonight. Why do I get excited about going to this event tonight? Because you never know who you're going to meet at it. You probably got excited because you're going to bump into someone who's going to connect you to someone who connects you to someone who can, you know what I mean? It's the start of a big connection. So I want you to remember that anytime you have something, if it feels really good and exciting, right off the hop, that's something you should go to. Now your subconscious brain might talk you out of it, like we talked about earlier, because of past, because of trying to keep you safe, because of not allowing you. So you're going to have to listen to your intuition very well to differentiate if you shouldn't be going or you should be going. And if it's not a hard no, or if it's not a hard yes, then it's a hard no. So you have to understand that as well. If you're just kind of like, eh, kind of, sort of, uh, uh, that's a hard no. <laughs> you're not supposed to go. It's not meant to be there within your alignment. So that's the awesome thing about it. Um, the definite yes, you know, if it's not definite, it's definite no. So you're going to want to get in alignment with that. You're going to want to center yourself. You're going to want to know how to do that. That's those meditations. That's laying around um, and that's doing this. Now, 
here's another way I actually use this for businesses, my, my business, is I will use a lot of times, I know it can feel very robotic, you're going through your lists, you're messaging people who have commented, you're, you're following up, but a lot of times we can actually go and say, what feels good to me today? I can't tell you the amount of times, and I know some of you on here as well, you've just had this urge to make a certain post and you make that post and it just goes viral, right? Like it just, they get all the comments, you just feel the urge to post it and it felt good and it felt right, right? You put like almost an energy on your post before you click post and you're thinking like, this is online, like, but energy transfers no matter what you do. So even if you're unsure about something, even just kind of praying over it and going, I just want this to go to the people it's meant to go to. I want people to see who's meant to see it. You know, I want people to experience what they're supposed to experience from this. Then it will have the intention. A lot of times I even look through my lists. Okay. You have your hundreds list. Who feels good to message right now? And that's your future self that will show you and tell you what you should be doing because that's the next step for your alignment and what you're supposed to be doing. Doesn't mean it might not be scary. <laughs> I actually just had somebody message and tell me they're ready to do this. And it was the most scariest approach I've ever done. And it was about a month of planting it, but it, it happens, right? Doesn't mean it's not gonna be scary. Don't let your subconscious mind talk you out of it. But if you see a name and you're like, yes, or you're laying around and somebody pops in your head, jump on their Facebook really quickly. You just don't know. That's your subconscious or that's your, um, your future self relaying back to you um, what you should be doing in order to get it. So that's how we are applying it to our business. And that's how we are utilizing our social media with it. You guys, um, it's just so exciting where we're going to go with all of this and what we're going to do because I feel like... Um, this whole Zoom was an alignment thing, right? This whole Zoom and this whole leadership series was absolutely an alignment thing. So honestly, thank you guys for hopping on and uh, we can dig into this more.